Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I am here today to do the next installment in the pad kill with that Park Lane birthday paper pad. I've been working through very slowly, basically this whole year. Slowly making progress, we'll get there eventually. Um, for this video, I decided to take two of the 12 by 12 sheets. They're all double-sided, um, so you end up with uh, this print and this print are on the two sides, and then these two prints are on opposite sides of each other. But basically, I took those two sheets and I cut them down into four by five and a quarter uh, bases, which is the size that I usually use for kind of like backgrounds on these, these kinds of cards. And I cut them down with an intention of making these very generic note cards. So they're not super um, birthday themed or really anything specific themed. They're just more general note cards. So I paired them up with one of each of the papers um, in a pair um, of single bases. And then I made six different ways of cutting to get six different basic patterns. And then I used some scraps to cover up the seams. Um, so the first one was this cut, which is kind of a off-center horizontal cut, and you get these two designs and then the scrap paper used here. Um, the second was the kind of vertical version of that, and so you get these two designs. You can see I used one of the scraps from that paper to actually cover this one. I thought that turned out pretty cute. Um, and then I did next, these are centered splits and I ended up choosing just these two papers. Um, this was a spot where uh, this paper with the stars, there was like a large happy birthday with a cake on part of it. And obviously I don't wanna show that cut up. So that limited the papers I could use, but I think it turned out really cute. Just like these two that are kind of mirror images of each other um, and using these. I don't know if you can tell, but these are gold foiled and some shiny scraps, things like that. Um, and then I did the same horizontal splitting in the center. And again, I just used these two papers. So we get these two that are kind of mirror image of each other again. Um, and then I did two sets of diagonal cuts. So this is the first set. Um, I was a little more limited based on how I cut them on what I could pair together. So I ended up with the two kind of blue sides together and the two white sides together. But I thought this kind of strawberry design um, was a good thing to put in the border here. And I think they still turn out really cute and definitely kind of fit with using at any time. And then the last one were these two diagonals. And again, a little bit limited on where I can pair things, but I think these turned out really cute. Um, and I did pair them, I think, a little better so I could end up with all four papers um, being used for these. So that's really all I have for today. Um, I just wanted to kind of um, show you these quick and easy card designs. I think it's really fun to make these kind of things. And if you do this kind of dozen set and then um, potentially uh, use one of the scraps, um, so like, uh, when you use these four by five and a quarter, you end up with um, the top, it's gonna be 10 and a half. So you're gonna have a one and a half inch strip along the top of the 12 by 12. And you could take it and you could take all 12 of these and just kind of turn it into like a belly band that goes around the 12. Um, and then it's a really good gift. It's very fast, it's very easy, but I think that people really like having note card sets and it's nice to have them be generic. You could also always add quick sentiments to each of them and make them a little less generic um, to be used for specific holidays, things like that. Um, but lots of ways to make this into a really easy gift set. Um, I might end up doing that or I might end up just using this set as well for some of the other cards I send. Uh, we'll have to see when I get there. But in the meantime, I just wanted to share this. That's all I really have for today. As always, please like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it, it helps me out. Let me know your favorite really simple card designs. Um, I would love to hear about that as well. Um, and then follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz. I will show some of my paper projects as well as bits and pieces of my planner, my life, what I'm reading, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.